Here's how to set up bridge mode on the HG659 modem. This method will give you full bridge mode as well as a reserved IP to access from another LAN port. This will work for VDSL, Fiber and Ultrafast HFC, not at slower standard broadband. HG659 Bridge Mode Setting Diagram Modem Connect the cable between Modem LAN 1 port and HG659 LAN 1 port. Don't plug in the HG659 WAN port, that will not work in the bridge mode, set HG659 via the reset button. 2. Connect the internet connection, VDSL or Ethernet to ONT, cable modem. 3. Connect modem LAN 1 to. 4. Connect your PC via cable directly to the HG659 LAN 2 port. 5. In browser type in 192.168.1.1 to log on to the web management page as admin user, not the default account. 6. Go to Internet greater than Internet settings, delete all of the profiles except the connection Internet underscore Ethernet. 7. Go to Internet greater than Internet settings, edit Internet underscore Ethernet, change connection type to bridged, change service type to Internet only. Untick TRO69 and voice. It will show connected after confirming. 8. Go to Internet greater than network security greater than firewall, disable the firewall. 9. Go to home network greater than LAN interface, turn off UPnP, IMF6 DHCP server and DHCP server, IMF4. This step is going to allow the modem to be the only IP distributor. 10. Go to home network greater than LAN interface greater than LAN interface settings, set a LAN IP, say to 192.168.3.1 that won't conflict with anything. This IP is setting for HG659, to avoid conflict with any other IP in local network, also your HG659 router IP is 192.168.3.1. 11. You should be connected from the management page. But, you should able to connect to the internet. 12. Now if you ever want to reconnect to the HG659 router, you'll need to set a static IP on your computer like 192.168.3.3, your computer IP, and connect physically into the router, and browse to HG659 192.168.3.1. Thirteen. If you want to seamless connection, you can set the Wi-Fi SSID name and password same as other Wi-Fi SSID. Otherwise, save different Wi-Fi SSID into your device. Also work.